Welcome to this video, which explains how Excel can be used to scrub or format data obtained from the internet. So of course Excel is typically considered a piece of software for doing calculations, but this demonstrates how it can also be used to scrub data. Of course, the data application or the scrubbing application that I'm going to describe in this video is probably not one that any user will need to do themselves, but it's more the concepts that are important. So um, I'm going to walk you through a problem that was a real life problem that I had to deal with. I had a strata building, which uh, is in Whistler, British Columbia, and I needed to get the parcel identifier numbers or the PID numbers for all 27 units in the strata building. And on this website, there's no option to download the data into an Excel file format or anything like that, or even to export it to a text file. So what I want to do is I want to copy and paste this data, which includes the PID numbers. You can see this is for unit one, unit two, unit three, unit four, and on it goes to the bottom of the page. And in fact, there's subsequent pages of data. So if I was to copy this information, I could copy it tediously one by one into a Excel spreadsheet. And certainly that is one option. In this case, they're 27 units, but not only is the, me the method I'm gonna show you quicker for the 27 units, but certainly if there were even more units, then the method would be even more powerful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, just gonna select all of the data down to unit number 13, and I'm gonna go into Excel. If I do a regular paste, it keeps the formatting and it includes these checkboxes. If I then say, well, I just want the PID data, so I'm gonna sort alphabetically and hopefully it'll group the PIDs together, it doesn't actually allow me. The reason being that some of these cells are different on the different rows. For example, this cell over here is merged and that one is not. And you can't sort a mixture of cells, some of which are merged and some of which are not. So that method didn't work, so I'll click undo to that. What I can do is use the, pl the paste as plain text option. So up here, I'll click paste, paste special, text. There it is. You can see now it didn't bring in the checkboxes. It treated everything as plain text. And I can now, on the left hand, so on the right hand side over here, I can sort alphabetically, and it's grouped the 13 PID numbers together. I can then delete the rows but probably what I'll do rather is I'll just go and get the other collection of data for the subsequent PID numbers so that takes me up to 25 go over there paste again as plain text and then I'll go back and get the final two Just numbers 26 and 27, there they are. Go back to Excel, scroll to the bottom. Again, paste as plain text. Okay, so now I'll go to the top. I'll again sort alphabetically. I'll continue with the current selection. I don't actually care about anything that's not in the leftmost column because I know that my PID numbers are in the leftmost column. So what I'll do is I'll actually delete this content. And maybe I'll delete all of this content. I don't need it. I can now delete all of these rows. Delete rows. And I should have all 27 PID numbers at the top. And I'll delete the rows that I don't need at the bottom. And let's see, I have an error. I've got number 13 twice. I could tell that because I know I should have 27 units. Um, there's 27 at the end, but I'm on row 28. I can see there's an error. So it's in number 13. That's no problem. I'll just delete that. All right, but I want just the PID numbers. I don't want this other set of letters and characters at the end. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the PID and the space because I don't want to begin each number with PID I just want a clean number beginning with 030 so I'll do find and replace with nothing so control find then I'm going to enter in PID space replace 
leave that empty because I want to find and replace with nothing. Hit replace all and it'll make 27 replacements and you can see now the PID has been obliterated in every case. I can't do a find and replace with nothing quite as easily for the remainder of the text because it varies on every row. But what I can do is select all the data, go to the data tab, click text to columns, make sure delimited is selected, and then basically convert the text in the cell into separate columns and separate it every time that there is a space. And you can see now I've got this vertical line over here, which confirms that it's after the space that the divider will be made. Click Finish. Widen this column over here so we can see that it worked OK. And indeed, it did. So I can delete this column. I now have my 27 PID numbers, which are in the correct order. Um, certainly, they'll be quicker than copying and pasting, even for this 27 rows of data. Of course, it's taken a bit longer because I've been talking through it on the video, but I now have 27 rows of data. I'm confident that there's no typographical errors uh, from which might have occurred, for example, if I just typed it in, which would be a method that maybe people wouldn't use if they didn't know how to manipulate the data in this fashion. And also, I'm confident that there's been no copy and paste errors, which you may be concerned about if you did 27 separate copies and pastes. So uh, hopefully that's useful. And I'll see you in the next video.